Hello YouTube designers and welcome on to the story. My name is Peter. Head on to the story. I'm just going to show you how we can be able to hide this WooCommerce pattern from your dashboard, from the dashboard menu. Maybe from a customer, um, not mostly from the customer because customer don't see them. But from the editors and uh, shop managers and all those other role, uh, role users or role that you have in your website. This just so simple code you just do some amazing job. You just want to hide this WooCommerce button. So what you just need to do, I have just added this short code here. I just activate and after that I just refresh. You see it just disappears and now what we have is only the product and one can be able to product who uh, are new product categories tags and all that can be able to do it that is the tutorial for today and i'm just going to show you how you can install the code in your woocommerce website and i'm just going to show you how you can be able to hide that woocommerce button in your dashboard you may be in need of it to hide it so without further ado let's just get into action and i show you how So the first thing we just need to do, we need to get to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, we need to have to hover on the plugin button and on hover on it, we have these three options, select and new. We need to install an, a plugin that will just help us to add the code. So easy. So the plugin is called Code Snippet and here we have it. It's, called, it's from Code Snippet Pro. You can see more than 600,000 active installations. So all we just need to do is we install the plugin after successful installation we activate the plugin so on the dashboard menu now we have this button for the snippet just hover on it and select a new because you need to add a new code that will work for last so the first thing you just need to do is we give it a name so here i just call it woocommerce not and we say hide woocommerce button like that and now we just need to add the code so i just i i just go to the link on the description just go just use the link on the description to get the code so just copy this code here just go back here and you just paste it here and after that just let it land the snippet everywhere and save the changes you as admin you're not going to be affected by this uh, but it's going to affect the, the shop managers the editors and all those other roles why is it good for you to hide the WooCommerce? Whenever you just hover on it, you could be able to change so many things. So that's that's one good reason why you should hide the WooCommerce button for you. So from there, and let me just see how it worked. And here we have it. Uh, let me just refresh here. Let me just deactivate here on the end here. And I refresh. You see you have now the WooCommerce button most people and the shop manager can be able to do it but when you just activate here and you refresh on the dashboard for the shop managers they will not be able to see the WooCommerce button hope you did learn something out of this tutorial if you did learn something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up if you're new here consider subscribing till next time thank you